Hey Java developers, I'm here, sorry, we're here in beautiful Oslo, Norway. No, you, you redo it, you can't say I'm here, oh sorry, we're here. No, because, <laughs> no, I understand, I, I, I did it intentionally in script. Oh, sorry. Because, like, usually it's just one of us in the shot, so that's... Hey Java developers, I'm here, I'm sorry, we're here in beautiful Oslo, Norway for Java Zone. In team news, we have a new team member, Anna. Hello, everybody. I am Anna. I'm happy to be here today with you in uh, this newscast. And we're going to be talking to you more about JDK 19. Awesome. Also with me is Jose. Hello. And Chad. Hi. So as Anna already mentioned, we're going to be talking about JDK 19, which is going to be including, for the first time, uh, elements of Project Loom, and we're going to be looking at how the Java ecosystem is going to start incorporating and supporting Project Loom. So with that, let's jump right in. JDK 19 was released on September 20th, and with it came two new features with Project Loom, uh, virtual threads as a preview feature, and structured concurrency as an incubator feature. Now, if you're not familiar with virtual threads and structured concurrency, they are, wait, why am I telling you this? Jose knows this way better than I do. Jose, feel free to take it away from here. So the, the gist in concurrent programming for years in Java is that once you have submitted a task or a callable in the form of runnable or callable to a thread, you cannot detach this task from this thread. And it means that whenever you want to do that, whenever you, your task is blocking, then the thread is blocked and you're doomed because you cannot detach this from that. Either you have to interrupt the thread or the task has to complete, normally or exceptionally. With Loom, things are different. You give this task to a virtual thread. This virtual thread will run on top of a carrier thread, which is an expensive platform thread. But with only nine platform threads, you can literally run millions of virtual threads. Why? Because a virtual thread eats up much less memory than a platform thread. Actually, it's up probably a thousandth of the memory of the platform thread. It's much cheaper. And when a task is blocking and it blocks the virtual thread, then there is an internal mechanism of Loom that will take the stack associated with this virtual thread and move it to the heap memory, making it also much cheaper to block a virtual thread. So the gist is, with Loom, a virtual thread is cheap to create and very cheap to block, about the thousand times cheaper than a platform thread. So with a million threads in the memory of your application, writing asynchronous code with platform thread become really useless. What you can do is really write synchronous blocking code, and this is perfectly fine. Along with that, there is another stuff called the Structured Concurrency API, which is an incubator API. This incubator API gives you a central object, which is the structured task scope, which works kind of like an executor service. It's not really an executor service because in an executor service you have threads, and in a structured task scope you do not have any thread because it's completely useless to try to pull virtual threads. On the contrary, it will create virtual threads on demand as long as we, when you need them, when you submit tasks to this scope object. And this scope object does not have the same lifespan as the executor service. The executor service is created when your application is created and it's shut down when your application is shut down. A scope object, on the other hand, is something that you create when you need to do some kind of asynchronous task and will be closed right after that. So it's a very short living object. So virtual threads and structured concurrency are the two elements of the Loom project that you will have as preview feature and incubator feature in the JDK 19. There is one more feature that will be coming later, maybe in the JDK 20, which is extend local variable. But this is for another time. Thank you, Jose. So virtual threads and structured concurrency are very exciting features. So let's see how the tooling, libraries, and frameworks in the Java ecosystem are going to start taking advantage of them. Loom's introduction of virtual threads and structural concurrency can also help increasing dramatically the way that applications are handling the number of concurrent threads or tasks. This can also translate at the level of the tools and how they will handle the display and their support for virtual threads and structural concurrency. JFR, um, Java Flight Recording, is a popular tool for recording and observing events happening on JVM or on applications that run on top of it. 
JFR is being updated to uh, better to provide support for virtual threads uh, in order to display them much like uh, the platform threads. The improvement comes on the display level of these virtual threads, but also it comes with experimental support for continuations. JDK Mission Control, uh, the tool that is being used in order to analyze the recordings of those events that were probably recorded with JFR, is currently uh, going to wait its support for virtual threads um, until uh, the release 9.0. This release 9.0 is currently going through planning phase. The IDEs, IntelliJ, VS Code, and Eclipse are all actively working on providing uh, support for virtual threads and uh, structural concurrency. In addition to this, they're all improving the way that they're um, the way that you can debug, troubleshoot, or analyze the code that contains uh, these new features. You can check more about these evolutions in the links that are provided in the description of this video. Loom is blooming, and one of the great use cases is in application servers. It's already being integrated in Jetty. Uh, it should be released around 10.0.12 or so. It's an experimental feature as part of Apache Tomcat, and that was 10.1.0-M16. There will be some bug, bug fixes for version M17 coming out shortly. So as you can tell, it's already been, Loom is already being integrated into many application servers. That's awesome. Um, it's a great place to start, and it will continue to find its way uh, into the ecosystem in many libraries and frameworks. All right, and finally, for application frameworks. So for you Spring fans, support for Loom will be coming as part of the Spring Framework 6 release, and for Spring Boot, their 3.0 release. And that's going to be coming sometime next year, and we'll have a link to that in the description. For Heladon, Heladon has actually provided support for virtual threads as far as their 2.x and 3.x releases, and also the Heladon team is releasing Heladon Nema, which will, is actually uh, based on the Project Loom, so it's actually built from the ground up with support for virtual threads. Link to all that is in the description. Now for the Netty-based frameworks like Micronaut and Quarkus, the road ahead is going to be a little bit longer and a little bit bumpier. For Micronaut, they're not going to have support for it until their 4.0 release, which is currently in the planning phase. Quarkus does have some experimental support for, uh, for Loom, but users have been experiencing a few issues, and this is actually something the Quarkus team has actually laid out in a email to the OpenJDK dev list back in July, and again, we have a link to that in the description. So you might be wondering, how can you help? Well, the easiest way is just really providing feedback, and to do that is by just updating your applications to be using some of these new frameworks and libraries. So if you think your application could benefit from Loom, Definitely update it, test it out, and just based upon what you've experienced, give that feedback to those either library and frameworks developers or also to the OpenJDK developers through the OpenJDK mailing list, which again, links will be provided in the description. With that said, happy coding! It's already being integrated into a couple of projects. Uh, a it's already been integrated and it's coming out in 10.0.1 and there'll be plenty of other areas to 